Hi, I'm Dr. Lauren Underwood with Christy MD Medical Group. Today I wanted to speak to you a little bit about kidney stones. I love kidney stone surgery. Call me crazy, but growing up in South Louisiana, it is hot and we consider Texas and Louisiana the stone belt and summer is actually stone season. I've had a lot of friends and family members that have been personally affected with kidney stones and it's a debilitating disease and I'm here to help. So I wanted to let you know, you know, what are some of the symptoms and signs of kidney stones for patients that have not had a kidney stone before? It can actually present with a severe pain in your back, usually behind the ribs. It can also be on your side. It can radiate to the front of your abdomen and even radiate down into the pelvis. You might experience some urinary symptoms like urgency or frequency and might feel like you have a urinary tract infection. Sometimes you'll see blood in the urine, but that's not always the case. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, you definitely would want to get this checked out to see if you have a urinary tract infection or possibly a kidney stone. There are many different treatment options for kidney stones. We've come a long way and treatments are really good now. So there is no stone too small or too big that we can't handle. Really, surgery for kidney stones depends on the size of the stone, what it's made of, and the location. Our treatment options range for something called ureteroscopy, where we can actually go inside the tube, use this tiny little laser fiber, break it up into pieces, and pull it out. We have other therapies, including shockwave lithotripsy, which is a non-invasive procedure that is great for sending sound waves through the kidney to break up kidney stones, and then you pass the little fragments. We can even tackle big stones, don't worry. There are some stones that are called staghorn stones, and they can take up the entire kidney sometimes. That would involve a surgery called a percutaneous nephrolithotomy. That is a surgery where a tube is put inside the kidney and then we have different instruments that can go inside this tube to break up the stone satisfactorily. Once the stone is taken out and you have recovered fully, that's not the end of our journey together, unfortunately. Um, at this point, we would want to find out what is causing your kidney stones. There are so many factors that play a role here and we really want a personal indiv individualized treatment for you. So we will often obtain something called a 24-hour urine study. This is like your own little map of what's going on inside of you. So it's very important that we get this. This will tell us your urine volume, your sodium, your citrate, and all of these factors that we can help treat to get you better and to help prevent recurrent urinary stones. Usually it's a matter of just diet modification, but there are some patients that need medication to help, and this can also be a genetic disposition. So it's very important that this is not ignored. Stones that are untreated and left in place can lead to chronic urinary tract infections and kidney disease, so it's very important to get this evaluated. I would love to take care of you as I have with my friends and my family members, so please, if you have any kidney stone symptoms, or have had them in the past, please check us out today at www.christymdmedicalgroup. Thanks, take care.